close call during a street takeover in South Los Angeles when a truck just misses hitting a group of people watching from the sidewalk. As our Eric Resendiz reports, this was one of at least three street takeovers last night. Dangerous car stunts took over at least three intersections in South Los Angeles overnight. The illegal street takeovers were caught on camera. A red truck is seen doing donuts when it slams into the sidewalk and then hits a car with spectators around it. This one happened on Normandy and Gage in front of Tyrus Dementor's watermelon shop. Dementor says that this isn't the first time a street takeover happens in front of his store. Just saw the video and I'm so blessed that they didn't run into my fence again. I just spent $1,500 fixing this fence two months ago where they crashed in here with a car and they left the car and ran away. A second street takeover shows spectators in the middle of the street with another truck doing dangerous moves and donuts around a group of people. Lasers were a part of this incident. It took place at Century and Denker. A third street takeover, this one on Florence and Crenshaw, shows a car burning tires and doing donuts. Fireworks were part of the illegal act. It's out of control. I don't know what else to say. This is a lovely neighborhood. There are good people here. I grew up here and we've done business here for so many years. We reached out to Council Member Marquise Harris Dawson, who represents this area for a comment we haven't heard back. The LA Department of Transportation said in part of a statement, LA DOT has been a part of a citywide anti-street racing task force to address this critical issue. As we continue to work with LAPD to test solutions in real time, we urge all Angelinos to report reckless speeding and street takeovers. They just repainted the sidewalk, the street, and it looked so nice, and they destroyed it within one week after they did it. And LAPD says no arrests were made, no citations were issued, no cars were impounded, and nobody was injured. As to why no arrests were made, we're waiting from police for an answer. Reporting in South Los Angeles, Eric Resendiz, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.